This is Molokai Airport. It's, uh, it's a nice little uh, airport here. It's not too big as you can see. And uh, this island here is also very small, but incredibly nice. And it looks like the weather will be very, very good today. Uh, by, by the way, uh, the rental car company is uh, right over there, the Alamo. We have a couple of other buildings here, big parking lot. And um, the airstrip itself, just behind here. So it's really a cool place. And I think I see an airplane uh, taking off in about uh, 30 seconds here. You can go here with the Mokulele Airlines. I think they take 12, 10 to 12 passengers. And here's the plane, it's coming here. Morning action here. At the airport. And the plane is going up. Disappearing into the sun. Alright, so then you have seen the airport at least and the way out is actually up there You go up to I think they call it the airport loop or something like that This green building here is actually the home of Molokai burger as you can see up there and uh, There is a drive-through in case you're hungry. It seems like it's open even though many stores here on the island, they open um, a little bit later. And I'm pretty much looking here at the downtown area. It's a little early now, so I will uh, explore later. And here we have a, a school bus. On the other side of the street here is the one and only gas station. And I just picked up a coffee at that place and, and uh, you know, a little rice bento. But I think I will actually go down and kind of take a look at the harbor, which is uh, down in this direction here and just enjoy uh, a beautiful morning view before I'm heading, what is it, um, west. Yeah, I'm going back west uh, on, on this road here, you see. So let's uh, move on. What can be better than starting down here in the harbor area? Uh, you see the uh, Outrigger Canoe Club uh, here on the beach. See some colorful Outrigger canoes. In the background you see a lot of green land. We are looking west and here we have this, it looks like a, a pier for cars, right? And uh, we have to drive out a, a quarter of a mile, I think, to the end. And then looking over here, you see Lanai uh, under the clouds out there. Here we have the tallest mountain. Uh, or volcano uh, on the island and way 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 back under the sun we have Maui so uh, yeah let's uh, hop into the car and move on I think this is the place uh, they, they get to all these you know normal containers they, they would end up on the other side here and uh, we have a couple of boats lined up here and I'm guessing you could rent a space here and put up your regular sailboat right here, right? It's not very big but it's very very nice I 
I'll try to hide in the shade from this boat here. And I'm looking down here, there is a guy fishing out there. And uh, I bet they, they catch a lot of fish out there. The water is very, very nice. And this must be one of the most peaceful islands here in uh, Hawaii. It's very, very quiet. And uh, you can feel the pace is very, very slow here. And I really like that, it's really cool. No, not so much traffic noise. I mean, if you are in Honolulu, my goodness, you have so many cars, it drives you nuts, right? But here, not like that. I mean, you hear birds. I mean, once in a blue moon, there is a car coming out here or you see one on the road. No traffic lights whatsoever on this island. And what you see here is basically the tallest uh, structures on the island. I mean, nothing is taller than the trees here, which is really, really cool. It's definitely one of my favorite islands here. I'm leaving uh, Kauna Kakai right now and uh, driving west because I want to go over and check out. They have a couple of very, very beautiful beaches on that side. They also have the little community Mauna Loa, which is slightly higher up. But it's, it's the last little community on uh, the west side of uh, Molokai. Another thing I've noticed here on this island before is that they have a lot of churches here. And uh, to me that indicates that uh, people here, they are very religious. They, they like to, you know, go to the church once in a while and hang out, right? Another interesting thing is also that this side here, right next to Kauna Kakai, is a very dry area. As you can see here, the grass is kind of gray here and you have many dead trees. And uh, if you would go to the other side of the island here, it would be absolutely different. It would be extremely green and um, very lush like that. But here it's kind of like a little desert. You also have more sunshine here, which is uh, nice. And that's probably why the little town is located where it is. And it looks like they have a lot of animals here. I see a lot of tracks here uh, in the ground. I'm not sure what it is though, but uh, we have some activities here. They also have uh, pigs, as you can see here. I found uh, this bunch of pigs. These are so somebody's, somebody owns these. These are not wild, but I'm sure they have wild pigs on, on the island as well. And the do dogs are barking and oh, wow, this one looks cool. He's talking to me. I'm looking at the tail. He's kind of... I don't know what he's doing. He's kind of angry, right? Should I be scared? Will you come after me? I don't know. What do we have here? 15, maybe? Something like that? <laughs> and you had a rooster in the background. That's pretty cool. And here's a little baby pig by himself here coming towards the fence. Very interesting. All right. I just saw that when I was passing here, so I, I just had to film it. Right behind this fence here, you can see the beginning of the farming area out here. 
actually they do farming all over the place but th this is one of them and you can actually just follow this road here and go down like a mile and on the right hand side they will be selling some fruit uh, at least the last time I was here so let, let's find out if they are still doing that and right here well we, we are basically uh, half a mile from uh, Kumo farms here and uh, you can clearly see that they are growing stuff I believe this is papaya it's not like I'm a specialist farmer here but it, it kind of looks like papaya from here This is just past the airport. One plane is uh, taking off and uh, the landscape really opened up here. We have acres and acres of farming going on here. And when I'm looking in here, I see some banana plants. So maybe they are selling bananas too. Anyway, last stop will be down by the farm. This is the farm area I was talking about earlier here. And uh, they have a little store where you can buy, you know, freshly picked fruit. Maybe other things. It's of course a little bit early now. I saw they open 9 o'clock here and we are just 10 minutes after that, so more people will arrive later, I guess. I also heard some shooting in the background here. And I'm just thinking, maybe they are shooting pigs, these wild pigs they have here. And that could also be the, the reason they have all these very high fences around all the crops they, they produce. Maybe, maybe pigs are a problem here. I'm not 100% sure, but at least it's a theory, right? And they have some, some tables here. They have a nursery. Somebody's coming here, maybe to pick up some fruit, right? So I will uh, go and find out what they are selling here. It's all organic. They have papayas. Look at all this. All freshly produced. I think I will go for the papayas. What is this? Molokai lime. How interesting. And here we have a turmeric. That's really cool. And look at the pineapple, my God, so fresh. But definitely I will grab something like this. Hey, morning. All right, so uh, let's do it. I'll be right back here. By the way, they also have this little room here that is full of interesting stuff. Everything organic and I kind of like that. Pasta, some sauce. Yeah. Oh. oh, in here? So you have options no, here. I took it from here. That is pretty cool, right? Well, you know. I only have two hands, I can't carry too much here, so, but uh, I go for, for the fruit. Time to leave the farm, but that was a great experience. Lots of good stuff. So I think, um, what I can do is to go back up to the highway and uh, continue west.
Coming into um, Mauna Loa, the little town here, and uh, today I'm kind of uh, lucky because the weather is still sunny. Uh, sometimes it can be kind of uh, cloudy here because of the clouds coming coming over from the uh, volcano, right? But right now it looks like a beautiful day here. I will. Uh, I think I will do one loop. Let me go in here and uh, I will take down the windows here so you can uh, see what's going on here. What I specifically like in this town is the, the type of buildings they have. It's all plantation style and it's really, really cute. So it's, it's kind of a, like a slumbering little community here. And they have a little school. I think we're going to pass that really, really soon here. I'm just taking a look out through the window here. Some of these homes are painted in uh, beautiful colors, like this one. Look at the color. And I think this is the school. Right up here. It's a very, very quiet morning here in town. And by the, by the way, if you're a student here at this school here, what a beautiful school, right? Look at the schoolyard, it's pretty big. It's amazing. I don't think they have too many students here though, because the whole town here is very, very small. And I'm guessing this town was built like a hundred years ago when they actually had more activities here when it comes to, you know, sugar and those kind of things. So there you have it. The elementary school in Mauna Loa. Very nice, right? I'm kind of in the end of the town here, looking down over the west side of this beautiful island here. Not too many trees, actually. It's more like these low bushes you see everywhere. And I'm looking up towards the little town here. It's too bad the sun is still very low here, but uh, maybe you get the picture. And there is a little dirt road. I'm not sure exactly where it's going though, but uh, I can see a lot of uh, farm buildings up there behind these trees, so maybe it's just a local little farm road. And time is limited, so I don't have time to kind of explore that right now, because I have uh, bigger fish to fry, right? But it's, it's very, very interesting. 
And right there is some kind of community park right in front of us here. You see the little building there with the red roof. I kind of wanted to show you rush hour traffic here in Mauna Loa. And uh, this is the worst it will ever be, I think. You see an old truck rolling down the hill. Maybe another car coming up. And uh, yeah, there you have it. Uh, not, not, not too much is going on here, which is nice. So if you are looking for something quiet and nice, this would definitely do it for you. Take a look. It's beautiful, beautiful view here. I'm doing one little quick, quick loop here. They have a little store here and basically right next to that store is another one. This is the general store. You can buy what you need for the day. And uh, down here we have the old town movie theater. Of course it's not in use anymore but I'm guessing when it was in use John Wayne was probably the, the main actor here in America. And um, across the street is the little uh, post office. It says Mauna Loa, Hawaii 96770. And they are fixing the, the roof there. They are working hard. My God, you're painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful so you don't crash. My God, you're brave guys. How often do you paint it? Every year or every two years or five years? You just kind of see the little kind of small leak inside there. Oh, it's a leak inside. I see. Well, you can't have a leak in the post office. So I'm glad you guys are fixing it, okay? Yeah. Have a nice day. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and uh, what do we have here? Well, we have what they call the kite factory. And uh, they probably make them in here. That's my guess. So, uh, there you have it. The downtown area of uh, Mauna Loa. It's a beautiful place. And I'm so lucky with the weather today. It could be much worse. I could not resist to go to the back here. You see a green barn down there, a couple of homes spread out. It looks like they have very big land they are sitting on, right? And the back area of the post office. All right. The land here is very, very beautiful. You have the low brush, pretty much. You have the red soil. And of course, you see a sign that says, no hunting. And uh, you know what? I think that sign makes sense because you look on the ground here, it's full of bone. So I think people are hunting here, but uh, well, I guess the, the land is private. So uh, if you if you apply for a permit, you can uh, you can probably go out there and do some hunting, but you can't just walk out. And all this land belongs to Molokai Ranch, and they recently sold that, I believe. 
And Molokai Ranch owns pretty much, uh, you know, at least half of the island here. Wow, what a crazy nice place. And uh, yeah, I will be down by the ocean here in a few minutes and then uh, we can take a look at that. It's really a nice area here. And uh, I think the wildlife out here must be abundant. Because even though you see the signs about no hunting, people are hunting here. There is no doubt about that. And then we have the little resort kind of in here. And uh, well, we can uh, start here, I guess. They say store open. So let's, uh, let's go down here. I wonder if people own these condos or if they rent them or... Yeah, well, what is the deal here? I, I, I don't really know. But I think I'm coming to the right place here. You can park here and go to the beach or you can go down and uh, go to the store, I guess. This is what you see right next to uh, this resort. You have this little beach and we can't see it now, but behind this, uh, you know, the, these rocks you see in front of us here, there is another one that is much better. But, but still, this is really, really nice. And uh, I have two more steps to go. Okay, I'm down. And uh, wow, I see some surfer guys. They are trying to surf at least. And this is actually the absolute western part of Molokai. And uh, maybe you see the clouds in the background. Just under the clouds you have Oahu. And, uh, like I said, 30 to 40 minutes on a plane, it's not too bad. And yes, you can see some waves coming in here. Very nice. And, uh, they actually have some stairs going down to this beach area. So uh, let's go down, I can't wait. It's always nice to find a new great beach. And surfing is definitely working here. I see a guy there and he was doing pretty good. And I didn't walk very far, but I'm already sweaty. It's really warm. Wow. Take a look at the guys behind me here. Surfing like uh, professional guys. And uh, if you pay attention, you will see that the, the water is a little bit brownish here. And uh, that's basically because all the soil on this island here is rusty red. 
This one serves really well here. Oh, crashed. Okay, too bad. Let's see if I can catch one more. Yeah, these waves are very nice, but not too crazy. But no surfing. What's going on here? Come on, don't sit on the board. Show off. Nah, nothing is happening. <laughs> oh man. All right, I will just move on. Well, there is one guy on the board that crashed and the view of this beautiful beach and uh, these guys are coming up maybe they had enough of this wild water this is my favorite uh, beach park here the sand is just incredible down there and um, the area up here is pretty nice too we have to kind of walk a couple of minutes before we come down there but um, I'm sure you agree this would be a perfect place for a picnic. And they have, uh, you know, these picnic tables spread out all over the place here. This is what I call a beach. Wow. You can walk a mile in that direction. and maybe half a mile in that direction without seeing anybody what a cool place and there is a massive massive rock right here on the beach But at least we see some tracks. Somebody walked here a while back. And this is just the absolute western part of uh, Molokai. I really, really like this beach here. And I know you do too. <laughs> wow, yeah, this is really cool. We have pretty small waves coming in here, creating the, the right atmosphere. And there are some rocks uh, right here, so that, that's the reason the, the waves are breaking pretty much right here, as you can see. Uh, it's hard to even comment on, uh, on this place, right? It's just 
the best of the best. That's all I can say. There's what else can I say? Wow. What a perfect day. Right next to uh, the beach park itself, in between the trees here, we have a few beach properties actually. And uh, I have seen the price tag a couple of years ago on how much these homes go for. And uh, well, it's a big number. I'm not even sure I can count that high. And suddenly the beach is crowded here. We have two more guys coming out here. A man and a woman. Now we are like three guys on this beach. So I feel it's crowded right now. I have to find another beach. <laughs> 